Now we'll go then to Leinster, which for many years was very competitive, but in recent years has sort of fallen off the uh, fallen off the trolley because Dublin have just been far and away ahead and shoulders above anything else, Stevie. Yeah, there's no doubt Dublin have been one of the most consistent teams in the country over the last five, six years. But in Leinster, they've dominated that for maybe the last 10, 11 years. And it really, it's not their fault, but it's up to the other counties around them to try to get up to the standard that Dublin have set. Meath, for me, are possibly the closest contenders, the, the most physical side that can control and compete with Dublin at, at that type of level. And I fancy that Meath will get to the final and it'll be a Dublin-Meath final. But once again... I can't see any other result, only Dublin coming out on top. And I suppose only Achilles heel for Dublin to an extent is the fact that they tend to struggle when teams put up some sort of a defensive strategy against them, you know, and play on the break. Yeah, and it's been proved this year in the National League, any team that's put up the, the defensive wall, they have struggled. Dublin are the type of team that like the open spaces of Crook Park, their forwards in particular like to take their defenders on. But when they're running down blind alleys, maybe two or three defenders on them, it makes life a wee bit more difficult and more challenging for them. And they've faced that over the last few weeks. So it's interesting to see, it will be interesting to see whether Jim Gavin can get the best out of those guys against those type of teams. And will, will he prepare his Dublin side to face that type of challenge going into the championship?